Oh, oh, oh my God, Jordan. I'm so, so sorry. I, God, I should be watching where I'm going. You and me both. Is everything okay? Yes, yeah, I'm just here for a checkup, but I feel pretty good. Well, good, that's, that's what we like to hear. Yeah. I should be checking in. Okay. Jordan, um, do you have time to answer just, just, just one question, something that's been weighing on my mind? Sure. Do you consider Spencer Cassidyne dangerous? If you're asking for my personal opinion of Spencer, I haven't really formed one. Okay, and your professional one? Not so much an opinion as facts. Spencer Cassidyne is a convicted felon, currently serving a custodial sentence at Spring Ridge. He's never been charged with a violent infraction. He admitted to stalking, harassing, damaging property. That sounds like someone that's capable of violence. If you mean setting Ava Jerome's car on fire, Spencer had an alibi. Yes, oh yes, I know. Which brings me straight to his girlfriend, Esme Prince. Why exactly wasn't she charged? That's complicated, but may I ask, why all the questions about Spencer and Esme? Well, I need to know the risks involved for someone that's in their lives. Is this about Trina? What happened to Trina? All the questions. Were Spencer and Esme threatening her? No. No, 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 no. I, you know what? I shouldn't have brought it up. Trina, she wouldn't even appreciate me meddling in her life anyway, so. No, it's not meddling to show concern. In fact, if you're worried, maybe, maybe Jordan can help. I can at least look into Spencer and Esme. You know what? Please don't do that. It's just that Trina is dealing with some, um, some friend drama right now. Okay, but she's doing okay in classes, still enjoying her art courses? Yes, yes. <laughs> They've actually pushed my appointment back 30 minutes, so I'm gonna grab a bite in the cafeteria and come back later. Um, is this about your kidney? It's routine. Everything's fine. Portia, please reach out if you need my help. Thank you. So now Esme is blaming Trina for filming Cameron and Jocelyn and putting it on the internet. That's insane. Trina would never do that. Well, of course she wouldn't. She doesn't have a malicious bone in her body. No, she, she, she's kind, she's generous. She's just like her mother, which means she's strong and she can stand up to Esme. I know, but I can't help wanting to protect her. I want to put the smackdown on Esme. That's exactly what I want to do. But I suppose that's a bad idea. Sadly, yes. <laughs> oh, there was um, some good news that I wanted to share with you. I told Trina about our plans to buy the beach house. And she seemed really excited about it. Seemed. I told you she's distracted. This whole friends drama thing, it's, it's taken its toll on her. And you? Me? I I'm fine. What was done to Cameron and Jocelyn was inexcusable. And SMA blaming Trina, it's despicable. But I know you, and I know there's something on your mind. What is it? Trina's inexplicable attachment to this Cassidyne kid. 